Hey, how's it going? And today I wanted to go over the await expression or method within the verse language. And I got into this because I'm kind of going over the NPC medic documentation. The await expression, it's a method within this event class. And then it's also here within this concurrency module. And simply put, it suspends the task until it gets another signal. Let's look at something here in this NPC spawner. I was really curious about this. So they talk about here, it says, when healing the character to heal, healing should stop when one of two conditions happen. Either the character's health is healed past the healing threshold, or the character exits the volume. What that means to me is that they might have left before they got all their health, but it seems like when you restore the player's health, it happens at the speed of the processor, so it's pretty quick. It doesn't seem like it's a gradual process. It seems like, boom, you get in there and your, your health is restored pretty quickly, within, within seconds. But I guess there is a possibility they could leave before their health was restored. But then, interesting here, it says, to accomplish this, you'll use a race expression. And this is what got my interest, is you can set up a race expression between a loop and an await method. This was interesting to me, the idea of the race. I'm not sure why it needs to be a race. Why not just if this, then that? You know, if they get their health, then they're done. Or if they leave, then they're done. I didn't understand why it needs to be a race between those two situations. That wasn't really clear to me. And then if we come down here and we see how they set this up, you'll see here under race, we have a loop and you'll notice it's on par with this, right? They're racing against each other, so they're in line with each other. And one of the things that's interesting to note about this is that when you have a race, the body of the block of code that you're using needs to have an async function in there. So this await is an async function, but where this code is written right here, there is no async function. Like this wouldn't work as written, Interesting, right? So if we come down further, you'll see what they've done is they've added this sleep. And as far as I can tell, the only reason that they added this is because this wouldn't work without an async function in here. I hope that makes sense. So when you do a race, you have different blocks of code competing against each other. And whichever finishes first, that one goes through the other functions get canceled. But for the block of code that's in the race, it has to have an async function, which this would be, sleep would be an async function. But notice here on this block of code, they've got it out of alignment here. And this kind of bugs me a little bit because this is so important, indentation is so important in verse. I mean, they made the rules and the rules are indentation is important. <laughs> and this is wrong because it's not a race anymore if this is indented in. So this needs to be in line here. So this is a little misleading here. So if we come all the way down here to the bottom and look at the final code, you'll see it's lined up. So this is correct now. This is correct. But I wanted to explore this in code myself. I just wanted to give you this background here. So what I have is a, is a lot simpler setup here. So what I've got is I've got a mutator zone. I'm in a basic island template and I have a mutator zone here. And then I have an island spawner here. And then I've created a verse device and that's it. And I've created this basic code here. And let's kind of go over this. So I've tried to keep this as simple as possible. So we've got our modules up here. We've got our at editable for our mutator device. And we've just set up this race, right? Now, one of the things I noticed about that code is that it's a race, but shouldn't a race have a winner and a loser? And it's not really, <laughs> it's not really clearly defined. If we're going to do a race, we should know who the winner is. So what happens is this race expression, it's expecting a return value to identify who won the race. So you can put a float value in here or an integer value in here. So I put a one or a two because it makes sense. You, what's the point of having a race if there's no winner or loser? <laughs> it makes sense, right? So now we can assign this to a, a variable here, right? An integer. It's going to go, go in as an integer into winner. And if it equals one, then we know this one won. 
And if this, it didn't win, then we know there's only one other one, then it, we know this one won. So this is what I was saying earlier, is that when you're doing a race, all of the blocks of code must have an async function in them. So that sleep fulfills that requirement and await fulfills that requirement. And remember, what await does, it suspends the current task until it's signal again. What's gonna happen now with this little bit of code we have, if I come in here to the game, basically I've got, well, how many seconds do I have? I gotta check it, I gotta look myself. I have 30 seconds. I have 30 seconds. Well, let me let me make this a little shorter here. So let, let's make it 15 seconds. 30 seconds to cross through that mutator zone. And if I don't, then this functions, this expression is going to win. Okay, it finally updated. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. Okay, so what's I basically have 15 seconds to cross exit out of that mutator zone. So if I don't, sleep's going to win. So I'm just going to wait for sleep to appear in the upper left corner. It's long 15 seconds. Ah, sleep one. Okay. So now I'll go ahead and start it over again. Start it again. And then what will happen is if I cross through the mutator zone, I'm in it, that doesn't generate anything. But if I exit it before 15 seconds, then I win, then exit one. So anyway, I hope you found this helpful and clarifying.